Hi, guys. Hey, good evening. Hi, Ronnie. How are you? Hi, Alvin. Hello, Peter. How are you? Yeah, hi, hi. <laughs> can you guys hear me well? Yes, we can. Definitely. Okay. We, we see, we see, you have a new toy. Yeah, I got a new toy. So uh, we, we're hoping that the sound uh, makes a difference today. Uh, got a new mic, finally delivered. <laughs> <coughs> Okay, um, so Ronnie, thank you very much uh, uh, for being us with here, uh, oh, with us you, here today. Yeah, um, great to have you, uh, Peter. Thanks for inviting Ronnie as well. Uh, <clears throat> okay, as we're seeing, uh, 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 people are still strolling into our our session tonight. Um, just a very, uh, if I can just very quickly share a disclaimer. Uh, let me just uh, make some announcements. Uh. Okay, so whatever we discuss tonight uh, does not constitute as investment advice uh, because we will be talking about robo advisory, right? Uh, so, <clears throat> so we, uh, so, so we just want to highlight the disclaimer. So none of this is financial <coughs> advice. So invest at your own risk. Caveat emptor. Uh, this is purely an educational session. We hope uh, um, you guys get to learn more about what robo investing is about. Um, you know, we've actually gotten quite a few questions uh, regarding robo investing, and uh, and and you know, here we have uh, uh, Mr. Ronnie, who is from Mytheo. He is one of the three uh, licensed robo advisory companies um, uh, that are licensed by uh, Securities Commission in Malaysia. So, um, you know, just to get it kick started, uh, you know, uh, Ronnie, thank you very much for being here with us uh, this evening. Yeah. Yeah, so we're gonna keep this quite lighthearted. Uh, of course, those of you who have just joined us, uh, you know, um, uh, uh, feel free to ask any questions either you're on YouTube or Facebook. Feel free to ask any questions. Uh, and, and we you know so Ronnie's gonna get kick started on you know what is a robo advisory and um, uh, and, and we'll just do a Q and A as we as we go along. Is that okay? Sure, fine. All right, fantastic. So Ronnie, have you got some slides that you wanted to? Uh, to yeah. To I, kick start uh, with? Is it? I think I share it. Is it on? Okay, hang on a minute. Huh? Yeah. Um, Faiz, nice. set it up. Huh? Is it up? Or oh, I have to put it up? Um, hang on. Huh? I think they're... Faiz? Okay. Uh, just give us a minute. Can you see it? Or... Ronnie, have you opened your PowerPoint? Yeah, is it on now? Uh, yeah. uh, yes, okay. okay. Yeah. <clears throat> so you press the present mode, then we are, we're good to go. Present mode. Yeah, uh, as in, yeah. Is it on? Uh, let me try. Uh. Nope. Uh, uh, no, you gotta go back to your PowerPoint again, um, and then yeah, and yep, okay. So we're gonna share the screen. Um, let me just yep, okay, cool. Uh, yep, that's the one. Does that work? Awesome. Okay. Yes, works perfect. Okay, yep. so everything is cool, right? All cool. good, all good. Cool. Okay, all right. Uh, let me just start. Uh, well, thank you very much, uh, Elvin and Peter, for inviting me to, uh, to this web banner. And to the rest of the audience, I hope you all are keeping well and stay safe and healthy. Yeah. Uh, what I'll try to do tonight is really, uh, because I'm not sure how diverse is the audience, so I will try to start off with some fundamental basic. And as I get along, I, if I have time, I'll go into more detail. Yeah. So let me quickly, quickly start off with uh, a very uh, brief profile on who we are. Basically, MyTio is a robot advisory product. Huh? It, the name is called MyTio. Uh, it is a, it's a product being uh, uh, curated by GexMD. Uh, GexMD is basically a JV core between Civic Digital, I next uh, the Civic group of companies and Money Design Japan. Okay, so we form a we form a JV call uh, to apply for a license, and as uh, Alvin has just uh, mentioned earlier, we got this license last year uh, by uh, Securities Commission. 
Okay, a very quick background. Money Design Japan, they <coughs> they they were they pioneer the uh, robo advisory service in Japan back in two zero one six. They started this business and the pioneer. Yeah, and uh, we I, obviously uh, for Silverlick uh, Silverlick Group, we are one of the uh, leading digital innovator in the uh, in the uh, financial market place. Yeah, so and uh, the whole team uh, is the GasMD bring a group of very experienced senior management from X Nomura, X Backrock, Mitsubishi, Google, and obviously the Silverlake Group. Okay, so uh, you look at it, uh, the whole group now manage more than USD 480 million with over 80,000 customer base. Uh, so this is a very quick uh, uh, run through on who we are. Okay, so the team behind this, uh, or, or there are some very familiar faces in the industry. Tan Sri, Dr. Mohammad Munia, and Ho Seng Yi, and my Japanese partner, uh, uh, Malcolm, uh, Matthew, and Professor Kato. Okay, so these are very experienced uh, fund managers and uh, 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 technocrats. Yeah? Okay, let me uh, uh, let me just quickly start off with a very basic fundamental uh, questions. Uh, I, I'm sure most of us uh, are pretty aware, but I think that to drive through the whole journey for me to drive the story through, I thought I just start off with some very basic fundamental. Okay, and uh, the most important question that's on our mind, especially at this period of time, is what is stopping us from investing, right? So, and you look at this, these are the common asset, so to speak, asset classes where we can invest. You're talking about deposit uh, uh, in uh, uh, cash, money matter, uh, 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 deposit, and obviously bonds, followed by property, commodities, stock market, and mutual funds. Uh, so these are the basic fundamental traditional products that are available. Okay, and, and what are the challenges we face? What are these challenges that most are, even though we are all pretty aware of all these asset classes that I, I just talked about, but what are the real challenges of investing? Yeah. So most of the investor, investor today, whether you are millennial, whether you are a, a, a middle income guy, or whether you are a retiree, you face all these challenges. First of all is high capital. So, yeah, high capital, like for example, if you want to invest in a property, there's a high capital outlay. Okay, you want to invest in uh, 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 REITs, you have a, you need to have a high capital outlay. And there is always the second point is lack of access. Okay, wait, wait, how can you get access to all these uh, uh, people who can advise you? Okay, not many of us, not many of us uh, are lucky enough to have a financial advisor telling you where to invest providing you with the knowledge, okay, and guiding you through your investment prof uh, uh, portfolio. And the other time is all of us are very busy. We just don't have time. And, and, and the other thing is we don't have knowledge about financial literacy, financial products, and what do we do, you know? And the other thing is low diversification. As I said, uh, if I just flash back to the previous screen, yeah? so. A good diversification is you really want to have from A to Z, from deposit up to here, up to stock market. You want the whole range, a basket of asset class, if possible, right? And the other thing is, human being human, there is always this emotional decision attached. Okay, you you want to try to you want to sell high and buy low and time it and listen to uh, tips and 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 and. What not? Yeah. So there are a lot of emotional decision involved. Yeah. So these are the challenges. Yeah? So what if? And what's the solution to the challenges that we face? Okay. What if? What if there is a platform or a service that provide you with easy access? And what if there is a platform that allow you to get into investment? The things that I talk about diversification with very low capital. And what if that platform is able to auto portfolio rebalance it, okay, in order to structure a nice portfolio with for you, okay? And what if this platform also allows you to have high diversification? You can invest in, in various stocks, bonds, treasury, commodities, gold, and so on and so forth. 
And the most important thing is, what if this platform do not have that emotional decision? It's not biased. Yeah, we only need to buy it by. It needs to sell itself. It does not time the market. So basically, that what I'm trying to tell you uh, 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 to the audience is there is this platform available today in the form of robo advisor. Yeah? I prefer not to use the word robo advisor, okay? Uh, because I'm, I mean, people will get to know that you know, people relate this as robo advisor, you know. But it's to me, it's too cold. Uh, it's a very cold people would think that uh, uh there is this robot or computer that manage manages all your wealth you know so i prefer to call it digital investment management service yeah so along my presentation i will and in, in you know I will, when i talk about dim or robo advisor basically it means the same thing okay so what is dim then yeah so dim you uh it actually incorporates you know, innovative technology, okay, and uses an automated algorithm to create and manage a discretionary investment portfolio. Okay, what's the benefits are? Huh? It's convenient, accessible to manage and grow your health, uh, to wealth. Yeah. So what do I mean by discretionary investment portfolio? Okay, it means that you are a, a client that live, uh, that, that want to invest. Basically, they live a certain dollar amount with. Our platform, a robot advisor platform like MyTio, for example, you may say that I'll give you a ten thousand ringgit. Okay, manage for me. That is discretionary. What to buy, what to invest, when to get in, when to get out. Okay, is basically your left. You, know, you leave this decision. Leave this decision to a DIM platform that will use an algorithm, and obviously there are also people behind it that manages and monitor it. Yeah, so MyTio is one of the platform that, uh, 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 as, uh, as Elvin said, we are one of the three around in, in town today. And we're pretty honored that uh, since last we launched in 2019, we got, uh, uh, I know, some, some Murrays and uh, colleagues uh, in terms of uh, reward of being rated uh, a FinTech robot advisor uh, in the field of artificial intelligence. So the main aim, the main objective of MyTio as a digital investment manager is really to encourage, enable, and then empower everybody to build your wealth at your fingertips. And it's highly personalized, convenient, and affordable. So before I talk about uh, my tool, how it works, or for that matter, Robo Advisor, okay, it is very uh, important that I touch a bit on ETFs. Because that is the crux of the whole investment assets that uh, class that we invest in. Okay, uh, forgive me for those that are familiar with ETF, but for the benefit of the the uh, the rest that who may not understand ETFs, I just want to have a quick run through so that you appreciate that the product that we are investing in. Right? Okay. So basically, uh, uh, my tool basically invest in strictly ETFs or exchange traded funds, okay? And all these uh, exchange traded funds are listed in the US stock exchange, okay? With wide range of asset classes, equity stocks, bonds, commodities, and with global diversification. I'll touch a bit on what it means afterwards, yeah? Later on. Okay, example, a very, very simple example, just as an illustration, okay? So ETFs, uh, like I'm sure most of us are very familiar with mutual funds or unit trust. Uh, Malaysia call it unit trust. Uh, so ETFs are basically very similar to uh, uh, unit trust or mutual funds. Essentially, it's a basket of stocks bundled into an investment or index funds. Uh, the main difference between a mutual funds and ETF is this basket of stocks uh, are traded. These funds are traded on the stock exchange. Okay, and it really closely track and replicate the underlying index return. Right. So, example. Okay, uh, let's talk about a, a Vanguard S and P five hundred index, for example. Okay, so that index fund it will really, uh, consist comprise of almost to try to replicate the S and P five hundred. Okay, so rather than than uh, uh, investing in a single Apple stock, for example. Okay, so when you invest in the S and P index fund, you are literally basically buying almost the 
500 funds, uh, 500 companies, eh? like Amazon, Intel, Netflix, Nike, and Apple. Okay, instead of going into a single stock, you are actually exposing yourself to the whole market. Uh, so that is the advantage of uh, yeah. Uh, that's how ETH has been constructed. And what are the ben benefits? What are benefits of ETF? And why are people uh, are investing in ETF? Okay, the key benefits is they are very transparent. Okay, so whatever you invest in ETFs, they disclose. Each of the funds, the so-called index funds, they disclose what are the underlying assets, what are the underlying companies that you are investing. For example, Apple, uh, uh, Google, so on and so forth. So it's very transparent. You know what you're getting into. And, and because ETF are very passive, it's a passive strategy. Well, well there's a difference between passive investment and active uh, in management. But I think... I'll, 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 we will take it at a separate forum because that is another topic by itself. Yeah? But basically, ETFs are passive strategy and to replicate the benchmark. So therefore, we do not have to have a very, uh, 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 a very tight monitoring of the stocks, the individual stocks, and hiring very high, high uh, large team of fund managers, analysis to track. Yeah? And because they are listed in a stock exchange, it's highly liquid. It's very liquid and that's very, very important for a robo advisor platform because we need to buy and sell for customers on the fly. We must be able to, uh, there's a liquidity for people. When people put in money, I must be able to invest almost immediately. When people want to redeem, I must be able to pay people immediately. Okay. And when there's a re re uh, dividend reinvestment, I must be able to re reinvest immediately. Okay. And the main crux of our platform is we do not keep either cash. We want to make sure that all the funds are 100% invested in the market because investors do not pay us money to keep cash. Keeping cash is the simplest thing. So we do not want to do that. So every single cent, when you... Uh, put in uh, uh, invest with uh, a platform like us. We make sure that it's fully invested. Okay, and the the other more important, uh, most important point is also diversification. As I say, you really have a whole diversification, the whole universe of a uh, uh, asset classes ranging from equity, fixed income, commodities, and also over into multiple countries. Yeah, it's a it's a global diversification. Okay, and just and just to give you a flavor, a flavor of the size of an ETF and why uh, why why do a, why does a, a, a platform like MyTio chose to invest ETF in US for very good reason because of liquidity, uh, because of the wide range of ETFs, very diversified and, and uh, so if you look at the, the US market, uh, just to give you a flavor, as of December two zero one nine. The ETF size in US is about USD 4.39 trillion. Okay. And the ETF, e, uh, sorry, EFT, uh, ETF is growing at an annual rate of 25%. Okay. It's, it's, a, it's a very healthy growth. And in terms of uh, as of April 2020, I just selected the, the top five uh, so called robot advisors in US. They basically also invest, all these robo advisor also invest in ETF as the underlying investment uh, 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 class. Yeah? Vanguard is one of the largest. Uh, it, it manages 161 billion. Charles Schwab, 40.7. Betterman is a popular one. US, 22 billion. Wealthfront, 21. And uh, personal capital, uh, uh, which is 12.3 billion. So there's a huge market and a huge space. And they've been around. Betterman started this business. Uh, the, or the, they, they were the pioneer some more than, I think, more than 10 years ago. Uh, so this is a pretty uh, mature market in US, but not so much in Malaysia and certainly in, and in Asia too. It's not so, uh, uh, it's beginning to take off. Yeah? So to, uh, in terms of the AUM size, the fund size in Malaysia, we're close to about 93 billion USD. And Asia Pacific total AUM is about 17 trillion. Uh, so we can see what I'm trying to, uh, to reflect that there are certainly a lot of opportunity. 
a lot of opportunity for people to invest in these funds uh, uh, in, in Malaysia and Asia Pacific. Yeah? So this is just to give you an overview of uh, the size of ETF. Yeah? Uh, the, 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 uh, the, yeah. uh, sorry. Uh, sorry, Ronnie. If you don't yeah. mind, if I, uh, if, I, if I stop in a question here. Sure. Uh, be before it goes up, then uh, I'll miss the question. Um, yeah. Hong Xiong Lim actually asked this question. What uh, is the difference between using Robo Advisory to buy ETF S&P 500 yeah. compared with buying ETF S&P 500 straight from Busan, Malaysia? Okay. Uh, I'll, I'll, uh, okay. Straight from Robo Advisor, right? Uh, what's the difference between okay. buying from a Robo Advisor and buying okay. straight from Busan, Malaysia? Okay. Okay. Because I think there are a couple of ETFs right now that uh, yes. you, you can buy on Bursa Malaysia that's got exposure to FANG stocks as well. Yeah. That's right. That's right. Yeah. 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 Okay. Uh, okay. As an investment client, you have actually three choices of investing into ETFs. First mm -hmm. is you invest in Bursa, which also have similar tracking uh, mechanism in US. You can do that. The second thing is you could also go and invest directly and open an US account and trade in U, uh, ET, uh, ETF in uh, yeah, uh, US, uh, US on the ETFs. Yeah. Well, trading through a robo advisor is certainly much cheaper. Yeah? Because in the in a robo advisor, as I will uh, explain as I go along to my next slide, we are not just investing in a single ETF. Okay, for my tool, we are investing our whole universe. There are 59 ETFs. Okay, uh, 59 ETFs. So when you put a thousand ringgit, for example, the thousand ringgit goes into uh, out of the 59 today, 30 has been activated uh, in our my tool today. Uh, 30 has been activated. Uh, so by putting a thousand ringgit into my tool, you are actually buying into 30 ETFs, okay? So if you invest in Busa or in directly into uh, this stock, uh, stock exchange, or uh, New York Stock Exchange, you are actually buying an individual ETFs. Yeah? And the cost is definitely, definitely much cheaper if you invest through uh, uh, my, uh, a platform like MyTio. We only charge you 1% per annum management fees, which work out to be 0.08% of month. Okay. Well, if it's a thousand ringgit, okay, uh, I'm not sure how much it, the, the local ETFs here cost. Yeah. So with a thousand ringgit, you can't even buy a good ETF, a single ETF in US. Yeah. But a thousand ringgit, if you invest through a platform like us you are because we support support fractional shares yeah fractional shares meaning that you can own a, a fraction of an etfs does that answer the question okay. uh, uh, Ronnie, if, if, if you don't mind can i have a follow-up question on, on this right yeah. um, you, you mentioned that it's cheaper because you charge one percent annual fee I, I think one of the yeah. most common feedback we hear from people is um yeah. see when you Robo advisory charge a management fee, but yeah. when robo advisory buys the ETF, robo yeah. advisors also need to pay the transaction fee. Yes. So, so wouldn't the investors be paying a two times fee compared with them buying direct where they only pay a one time fee? I mean, I mean how do you um, sure. uh, explain okay. that? Okay. So uh, when you invest, let's say you put a thousand ringgit with us, okay? Mm -hmm. I will, uh, as a, my, uh, our platform like MyTio will charge you 1% per year, a year uh, which works out to be 0.08 percent times a thousand dollars a month okay? okay all transaction costs all the brokerage costs all the custodian fees all the transfer of funds into us dollar and all these fees my tool as a platform absorb it you do wow. not pay a single transaction cost at all Okay, and when when I look at your portfolio, as I will describe later as I go along, okay, I will do a rebalance. Rebalance meaning that we look at the marketplace and look at your profile. When it's time to take profit, okay, we will take profit, we will buy or we will sell without charging to you at all. No charges. 
Yeah. So as you can appreciate, if you want to buy an ETF in Malaysia, Busa or on any stock exchange, there is too late. Buy, there's one brokerage fees. Sell, there's one brokerage fees. But if you invest through a platform like MyTio, that there ain't any transaction brokerage fees. Nothing. Mm -hmm. We absorb it. We paid all these things. We absorb it. Uh, 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 it's part of our service. Yeah. yeah. Is that, uh, okay. So, right, this. Yeah. Sorry. So that, Ronnie, just a follow-up uh, question on that. Um, yeah. when, when you, when let's say I put a thousand ringgit and say Peter puts a thousand ringgit, yeah, do we actually both have the same portfolios? Uh, not really. Depending on your profile, uh, uh, depending on your uh, profile, which I will talk about it in greater detail. There's a few slides on that. Okay. Yeah, okay. 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 Yeah, you don't mind I'll, 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 that you will be yeah. clearer but that's a good good sure. question uh, 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 so if i forget to answer that you let me know yeah but okay. that's a good question, which, which is very fundamental to a robot advisor very fundamental okay. yeah? so you don't mind can i just proceed first yes yes, yes yeah, sure thanks a lot uh. thanks thank you no but a lot of questions so <laughs> I, I think i think you need to speed up your presentation because we have a lot of questions <laughs> uh, piling up Okay, 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 uh, 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 okay. So, so may, may, maybe you guys are the savvy investors, yeah. <laughs> okay, right. Okay. So, how does it work? Now, now, now so this is the the, the base, the thing behind it. How does it actually work? I mean, you know, well and fine that I talk about it. But how should, how does it actually work? Okay, it will. Okay, uh, as I said, okay, uh, uh, it's very important for the investor for the general public that uh, do, this dilemma of having the, uh, the, the perception that everything is uh, lights off, everything is managed by a machine and, 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 and just do wonderful things. But in reality, there is actually a collective intelligence, okay, harmonizing, harmonizing the strength, okay, uh, uh, of a human and the machine. Yeah. Machines are very good at processing large amount of data, optimizing data, looking at patterns, optimizing, tuning out things very fast. Okay, and there's no uh, human, uh, no no uh, no no human emotion attachment. Okay, and we also apply AI checks and all these things. They're pretty good at all these things. But at the end of the day, that the algorithm originally has to be created by human. Uh, human is the one that create a smart uh, a smart algorithm okay and that's why you look at it we have a bunch of uh, uh the the author's original algorithm developer algorithm you know so they are very uh, they are fund managers of as i said from uh, uh um, no Nomura, uh, BlackRock, and, and uh, professors from academics you know, all this they're putting all their their thoughts into that okay it's really putting the management that manage a digital wealth management knowledge into a algorithm uh, so it is really a collective intelligence uh. so okay how does my tool works we call it uh, uh, an omakase uh, for those that uh, uh, are familiar with japanese uh, uh, cuisine okay, omakase is basically you leave it to the chef uh, leave it to the chef to to chef to take care of your food all right. So the chef in this uh, in this context is my tio. Okay, we will decide what is the best menu, what's the best meal for you. Okay, by doing portfolio diagnosis. Uh, oh, sorry, there's a bit of a uh, typo here. Assets allocation, and we trade and support fractional shares, monthly rebalancing, dividend reinvestment, regular saving plan, and all these are all automated, fully digitized, automated, and that's why. The cost of running this uh, uh, thing is relatively uh, lower. Okay, uh, for example, during this MCO for our for our whole operations in MyTO is business as usual, customer and all my staff all work at home today. So things get moved, business as usual is totally transparent to the investor. They put in money, you know, they didn't even you know put in money. They can take out money, invest money, acquire. Uh, things all basically through through uh, digital means. Right? So so this is the uh, uh, okay. So let me very go through step by step and try to answer what uh, Alvin and Peter might uh, ask about it. Okay, before I do that, yeah. So, uh, uh Ronnie, if you don't mind, yeah. uh, I think we have five minutes to actually complete the slide and then we move to Q and A. 
Uh, okay. Because there's quite a lot of questions piling up. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So, so ba ba basically, there are three functional portfolio. Okay, and we invest in fifty nine ETF. So, uh, in total, we invest in ten thousand over uh, companies, spreading uh, uh, over eighty six over countries. Okay, so let me uh, very quickly go through the functional portfolio to address. Uh, okay, so this is pop in terms of precise portfolio. Okay, so we look at a person, for example, like Alvin and Peter. Okay, both of you have entirely or may have a same risk appetite, the same same uh, risk profile. Okay, so from your we ask you five questions: your age, your assets, your risk factor, uh, 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 what's the investment horizons? Uh, the five questions. By looking at these five questions, we will structure a portfolio that cons comprises of income portfolio growth portfolio or inflation hedge portfolio okay so in inflation uh, uh, in inflation portfolio we have about 10 etfs income about uh, 10 and growth is about 10 uh, of our uh, uh, etfs okay so for elvin elvin pop profile you may have 60 percent growth 20 percent inflation and 20 percent income yeah and for peter peter may have 30% growth, 30% inflation, and 40% portfolio. But the underlying, underlying assets class, the, the ETFs, is still the 30 ETFs that we're investing. But we are able to cut and, sh and shave it up and put a, a proper uh, composition. So Peter and Alvin would have separate, very, uh, may, as I say, may have a different portfolio, entirely different portfolio. Yeah. Okay, so as I said, uh, uh, we answer five questions: personalized account opening, and and uh, 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 okay, I I think I will skip this. Huh? We are just in, uh, in view of time. Okay, so uh, uh, okay, so so uh, uh, well, I think there are a lot of questions being asked. Uh, uh, I still have some some time to cover this. Huh? Uh, just a quick one. No problem. Go ahead. Okay. All right. Uh, uh, okay, there are a lot of questions being asked. Okay, my our uh, you know we have, we have a lot of this question. Our existing customer, both our existing and new customers from from our uh, our social page and so on and so forth. Okay, is it really a good time to invest? Okay, as you, as I just mentioned earlier, all the asset class are all invested overseas ETF in listed in New York Stock Exchange and Nasdaq. Yeah, it's all US based. Okay, uh, so what's happening in the world market today? Okay. Well, recession is almost certain. Uh, all these crises that uh, all of us know. Okay, and despite all these negative news, market is still making a rally. You know, it's it's, it's still going up. Okay, and uh, you look at it. Uh, next day, it's actually much higher. Okay, and uh, from nine thousand to nine two three, nine two three four from beginning of year, it's it, it's moving up. Okay, and at the bottom of twenty third of March, S and P shot up by thirty percent. Okay, so. So at the moment, and, and, and as of yesterday, okay, that Moderna, Moderna just announced a, 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 a good positive uh, uh, development in a new vaccine for coronavirus. And you look at the whole market, the optimism, okay, everything goes up. But what if the hopes are false? Okay, then you will expect more decline. Yeah, and the same thing, and all this massive. So, if you have bought on the twenty and on the twenty third, and you sold off on the twenty fourth, fourth due to panic, uh, through the panic, you will have lost too. Okay, so and uh, and over the last twenty years or so, S S and P produced an average return of six percent. But if you miss twenty days in the market, a good day by doing timing the market, you will return is probably only be zero point one percent. Okay, so volatility is a very painful uh, uh, exercise. So what I'm what I'm trying to express here, okay. So the fundamental thing that we I want to talk about is, do not time the market, go for diversification with regular saving deposit, stick with your investment plan, and processes and investment attitude that you do not lose sleep and tolerate a oh, thirty percent market drop, and 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 not be fearful. Yeah. So, and why? How, let me just relate it uh, to end up my presentation uh, and move to the Q and A. To and how does how does my tool address all these things? Okay, by all this general approach. Uh, okay. So, okay. Uh, this is just to give you a flavor. 
just a flavor of the 30 ETFs. Okay, we have 30 ETFs. I just give you a flavor of the 13 ETFs in our growth, growth uh, portfolio. Mm -hmm. So when you invest a thousand ringgit with us, you are actually invest in a share call, for example, just picking one, I shares Russell. Russell match Russell's are all mid cap value index. Okay. And we also invest in Invesco large cap. Okay. It's QQQ. A thousand thousand dollars that invested, you have an exposure to Microsoft, Apple, Facebook, Alphabet, PayPal, so on and so forth. Okay. That's on the growth portfolio. There are 13 of these. I'm just picking out two. Okay. And in the growth, in uh, and this is Vanguard large cap, you know, uh, uh, you have Berkshire, you know, Johnson, you, you have a health sector. Uh, at that thousand ringgit also in this is also invested in Berkshire Hathaway, Johnson, so on and so forth, Tencent, China, Ping An, all these things. With that thousand dollars, you are exposing, you are investing in all this. Okay. The income portfolio, you have fixed income. Okay. Uh, well, those are dividend yield type. Okay. I says China, China, Tencent, so on and so forth. Okay. And inflation type with the same thousand ringgit, part of it, part of the amount goes into gold trust tips bond tips bonds are basically inflation hedge kind of a bonds yeah mm. so so this is and uh so what i'm trying to say the thousand ringgit that i you have invested in mm. is invested in all the things that i've just spoken about obviously there are more etfs down there i'm just giving you that example okay and you will look into our results of our 2007 and 2020 uh, we did a back testing all these results are back tested as part of the regulatory requirement. So from 2007 to 2020, we have experienced the great financial crisis, you know, the global financial crisis, the SARS and the, 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 the virus pandemics, all that happened between 2007 until April 2020, okay? Our return, there are ups and downs, but on the balance approach is 6.68%. Okay, so, so if you are if you are very aggressive and hundred percent growth, you will get nine point eight two, for example. Yeah. Okay. So uh, uh and and I, if I you think, have, I think, yeah. Okay. I, 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 yeah, I think it's, I think okay. we can move to the Q and A. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay, so I think um, uh, just before we, I mean, keep those questions coming. Uh, uh, for all of you, thank you for. Uh, for asking those questions. So I'm going to just uh, do a very quick announcement for those who have just joined us. Uh, if you're new to Equity Tracker, don't forget to sign up on our free platform. It's absolutely free. All you need to do is send us a WhatsApp at 603-8408-2070. Uh, if you like the slides from tonight, uh, Ronnie has generously agreed to also uh, share some of his slides. So if you guys want to go through it as well, you can. You can just download it from our WhatsApp number at 603-8408-2070. It's the same spot. Just send us a WhatsApp, say hi, um, and then a robot, right? Just like robo investing, I will actually reply you and, and you can actually download uh, all the materials that we've actually covered here in copy time. Uh, uh, before we move on to the Q&A, uh, just remember, Copy Time, Investors Copy Time, we started on March 19. Our commitment was to be here with you, all the investors, every single night until the MCO is ended. But MCO keeps getting extended. Now we are CMCO, right? So uh, <laughs> share with your friends. Uh, we are on every night at 8 p.m., okay? Monday to Sunday, right? Uh, for those of you who have just joined us and you like some of our content or what we're doing, don't forget to like and also subscribe and be notified uh, on our Facebook account uh, so that every time we go live, you will be notified on your phone, right? So 8 o'clock is a perfect time because there are no shops af open after 8 o'clock or no shops are supposed to be open after 8 o'clock, right? While on uh, CMCO. Um, alternatively, you can also click and subscribe uh, on, our, on our Equity Tracker platform on YouTube. Uh, just click subscribe and again, you'll be notified uh, for any new content or videos that we actually highlighted, right? Um, lastly, I just want to make a quick announcement uh, with regards to, uh, you know, the MCO, one of the things that we are very passionate about in, is actually to, to share the awareness about uh, people who are daily wage earners. Uh, they have been quite affected, uh, including charities as well. So one of the things that we're doing uh, during this MCO uh, to make sure the money goes to the needy, uh, Benny and myself has actually volunteered ourselves to actually um uh teach you value investing and also uh, uh price analysis absolutely free on our facebook uh pub, pub uh, uh on our facebook group uh it's called et online campus uh what we what you have there is more than 30 40 hours of e-learning material absolutely free all we ask you to do is 
head to charity.equitystracker.com um, and, and what you do is just upload the receipt. So your minimum investment or minimum re, uh, 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 donation is 100 ringgit. All you need to do is do, uh, donate 100 ringgit and you can bring three friends along uh, to join our e-learning uh, absolutely free. Um, and, 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 you know, we want to bring this awareness to those daily wage workers. So you can donate to any charity you like. Uh, however, if you don't have any charity, you're not sure which ones, uh, they are also listed on our website. We have a few suggested ones. So all you need to do is go to charity.equitystracker.com. Uh, since we launched this on April the 6th, uh, so it's been about six weeks, we have raised a total of 147950 uh, Thank you very much for all of you who have been so supportive. So the minimum donation is 100 ringgit, but if you'd like to donate even more, uh, you're more than welcome to do that. All right. Uh, so just go to charity.equitystriker.com to get free learning videos or free e-learning uh, where myself and Benny are on actually uh, every week uh, to actually do a mentoring session with you guys as well. So if you're new, sign up for free account, download the... the, um, download the um, uh, the, the slides from tonight or any of the slides that we've actually put up for free uh, and you also uh, if you're interested in, uh, in improving yourself right upskilling yourself now is uh, you know it's never a bad time to start upskilling yourself all right uh, thank you okay so that's it for my announcement uh, Peter yeah. you want to get the questions rolling yeah I think there's a very difficult question but it is, it's, I have to ask this it's from Stephen Chia uh, he's asking that the mighty robot advisor performance is much deep uh, like the market due to the surprise crash but it's april performance also deep as well how come the data analysis and the robot intelligence of the system didn't learn to steer clear um, of the further loss position in april and beyond yeah oh, okay very good question yeah <laughs> so uh it dipped in in march but mm. april it went up okay so in april Okay, in the month of April, our growth portfolio, as I, as I explained earlier, it comprises of three portfolio, growth, income, and inflation. Our growth portfolio went up by 8.77%. Income went up 2.28%. Inflation portfolio went up 3.81%. For that particular month, and if you are a balance, assuming your profile, Assuming my tool constructed a profile of 33%, 33%, 33%, assuming, yeah, uh, a balance, uh, 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 a balance of a portfolio, your return for that month is close to 4.45%. You know, so, so, uh, Ronnie, it's a, yeah. so what you're saying is that uh, across all the portfolio in, in my tool, in April, there are none, none of the portfolios are actually in negative. All the portfolios are actually in positive territory. That's right. That's right. And the important okay. point, uh, the important point that lead to this is, we do mm -hmm. not do active management. We do not time the market. We did not mm -hmm. buy new ETFs. Neither did we did we create new ETFs. It was the same thirty ETFs that we have constructed, because this is okay. passive investment. Yeah, and and it's a well divers well diversified. Mm. And another burning question here, quite a few people ask the same question, if I summarize it. How different is my deal from Stash Away? <laughs> okay, uh, as I said, I, I wouldn't, as usual, I wouldn't want to comment on competitors. Yeah, Each of okay. us have a different approach, each of us have a different strategy. Okay, but what I can say is the, 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 strength, the strength of our products. Yeah? Not, not so much on the other, not so much on the weakness of the competitor, but the strength of my product. Yeah. So it, it, uh, the number one is because we consist, the way it's constructed, it consists of three portfolio that I talk about. Okay. Means that by, by looking at your age, uh, by looking at your profile, we construct a portfolio that suits your credit risk. For example, my tool would have, could have created 30, 30, 40. Okay. However, you as a person, you say that I may want to take higher risk because I like growth. I like to have growth. Um, so you can have multiple portfolios. One portfolio constructed Omar Kase by MyTio, which is 30, 30, 40. And you can construct another portfolio that is 60, 60% 60 uh, 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 growth, 20% 
yeah, uh, inflation 20% uh, 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 this uh, 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 income. You could do that up to six portfolio and all this portfolio, okay, all this portfolio re rebalance this. Even you construct your own, customize your own, we will still rebalance. Rebalance meaning that we look at the market, we look at the weightage, we will manage it on your behalf. Yeah. So this is one of the very uh, uh, strong, strong point. Mm -hmm. And if you look at it, our app, mm -hmm. okay, for those manuals, probably like it, we have voice activated command, mm -hmm. we have facial voice activation, uh, 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 so mm -hmm. on and so forth. Yeah. And, uh, and, and, uh, and it's a completely, so, so this, yeah. Uh, and the other thing is, so this actually you, indirectly uh, also answers. Uh, sorry. Yeah, because the other thing is you so look this at also indirectly answer. Uh, yeah, the, 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 sorry, Peter. Yeah, I okay. think it's a lag. I think. And, and you, and if you look at the portfolio ETFs, we have we certainly our portfolio is very well diversified. In fact, we have thirty over ETFs. Okay, and that one is a very good pool of a, a good coverage. No, I want to say you are indirectly answering Shirley Sun's question of can we select our own portfolio? So in short. The, the answer is yes, you can set your own portfolio. I think yeah. Alvin, they also have some question. Um, yeah. Alvin? Yeah, actually, yeah, you're right because uh, um, actually, I wanted to ask Jerry Sun's question as well. Uh, but actually, I've got one from ET Online Campus here, uh, Stephen Ng. Um, he said, uh, you, you know, instead of a black box approach, and I think you have talked about it, can you elaborate a little bit more on the algos that drive the di digital decision making? You know, that was the, that was the question. Okay. Uh, no, basically behind the scene, we used to, well, the, we used a few models behind it. Uh, there's uh, 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 of the normal Markowitz, the, the portfolio management. But then one of the important, important point that uh, uh, we look at is the, the AI assist. Okay. We have one algorithm, uh, part of it is AI assist that we use artificial intelligence. Use, uh, uh, we analyze sentiment market sentiment data, okay, uh, the psychometric uh, uh, data. We're going to look at the news and, and see how we position it, uh, 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 the impact on the ETFs, okay. And we are also very focused on, in a way, smart beta approach. Yeah? Smart beta approach, looking for value. So behind the scene, there are a lot of parameters and ratios that we use too. Okay, be the, the fund management use. Uh, for example, we look at look, looking at stocks in terms of uh, uh, the correlation. Okay, the volatility, the VIX, the the, the volatility in tax. Okay, we also look at price to book value. Obviously, PE ratio, sales to price, dividend yield. So all these. Is that, is that all? Is that all uh, yeah. digital, or is there some human behind it yeah. that actually does something? It is all digitized. It is so, so it's an algo. La. It's an algo yeah. that you guys have built. Okay. That's right. That's right. That algo that takes care of all these factors, so to speak, those parameters that are looking at the okay, all has been put into that algo. Uh, and we do not manage that algo. We have an investment committee. Uh, that investment committee it is not robo, the humans. La. <laughs> okay. And that's the one that shortlist your ETFs are like that you mentioned at the investment. That's company. right. That's right. That's right. And yeah. every every month we look at it and look at uh, 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 the main job. It is not to interfere with the algorithm, but to monitor it. Okay, because mm -hmm. there are sometimes exception been thrown out. So when the exception been thrown out, we look at it, but we do not interfere because if we try to interfere, that is timing the market. And become a very emotional decision. Okay, so we feel that, but it's closely monitored by a team of fund managers and the investment committee. We should draw out fund the, the basic uh, uh, investment policies. But all the talks, mm -hmm. all the ideas, all the talks, all the calculation, all the uh, monitoring, looking at trends, and, and as I said, the sentiment analysis is being put into algorithm. Yeah. Right, I have a very relevant question from Ahmad Akasha. Right, yeah. he's asking that I'm very curious on how withdrawal work. If I decide to withdraw the full amount when the market has closed, will the amount be dependent on when the market's open? How would this work if the ETF are listed in different countries with different trading hours? 
Uh, okay, so let's let's start with the fund. Uh, the step number one is when you put money in first. Then I will, I will relate to the drawer. Okay, so when you put first, uh, when you uh, after answering all the onboarding, the five question, and and we structure a profile for you, and you transfer online, it's all uh, seamlessly transfer into. By the way, it's all put into a trust account, uh, for mm -hmm. uh, into a. Uh, a bank trust account under custodian trustee yeah so this money of thousand ringgit tonight if you invest if you put your money before 12 pm today we will invest tonight at nine o'clock uh when the market open uh, when 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 new york stock exchange open your one thousand ringgit will be invested and we also our our trading system is hooked up online to a broker in us or online Okay, your thousand ringgit will be placed uh, because we already have structured the portfolios for you. What ETFs to buy? That thousand ringgit will straight away buy the thirty ETFs on your behalf. Obviously, they are fractional. Uh, as I say, fractional meaning that you can own zero point one percent of ETF one, zero uh, point or two percent of ETF two, so on and so forth. So when you put in the money, we'll invest it tonight for you. Tomorrow, you will look at, you will be able to look at your profile online real time. What have you invested in? Uh, that's when you start to put money. So when you take out money, the reverse thing happen. When you want a thousand ringgit, you take out 200 ringgit, for example. The 200 ringgit, we will decide which are the ETFs based on your profile that we will sell the right ETFs, the right composition of ETFs, so that you get back your two hundred ring. Yeah. Wait, so, yeah, right. that, that, means, that means technically you're only talking about the US market, right? So there's no ETF in the Europe market and the other market. So you mainly dealing with only ETF in the US. That's right. It's all US, okay. so it's ring it and US. But those ETFs that they invest in US has also global diversification. They also invest in overseas. Right overseas uh, countries uh, like UK, mm. uh, UK, China, uh, all these things, but they are all listed to ETFs in New York Stock Exchange. Uh. Yeah. So the only thing you are really looking at is US and Malaysia. Yeah, that's very oh, clear answer. I, thanks, thanks. Uh, <laughs> is that clear? Yep. Very good. Yeah. Uh, hey, Ronnie, I've got one question that's kind of similar. Uh, one is yeah. on YouTube from CH Ang and also from Lisa from ET Online Campus. Um, so the, the, both the questions are roughly, how do you handle black swan events or uh, flash crashes? You know, uh, I know you guys don't time the market uh, and, and I guess this is where the, the question is, is you know, uh, curi curiosity. Uh, do you just ride through those crashes or um, how? Or do you guys take opportunity? Uh, we, we, we ride through. Okay, we do not look at it and panic and sell it off. Okay? For example, okay, uh, uh, our income did extremely well. Uh, our income portfolio did extremely well because of a certain, that current certain market condition and our gold ETF did extremely well. Okay, so when the gold prices was down, we did not say that we sell or buy, we just write through. Okay, and as I said, we do not really time the market unless unless it's a very very drastic movement which the investment committee will say that hey there are things that we need to do okay there are things that we need to do and we will have to change we may have to change the etf's composition as you can appreciate that, that uh, earlier i've mentioned that my tool pre-select 59 etfs okay uh, uh, no, there are about 6,000 over ETF listed in US. Out of this 6,000 ETFs, we pre-select a pool of 59 ETFs that meet our investment criteria. Okay, mm -hmm. So these 59 ETFs, obviously, we watch very closely, but we leave the algorithm to drive it. Okay, But if we send something like a black swan or whatever, we may switch. You know? In fact, the algorithm auto-switch we, we did a, 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 some switching back in, uh, 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 I think, in, in February. Okay, we, 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 we exceeded certain, certain ETFs and, and, and that was done by the algorithm, by the way. We did, there's no uh, huge intervention. Okay. Yeah. Uh, right. 
I have a very stupid question. And this is the personal question. I hope you don't mind. Uh, uh, okay. Now you see, okay, when when do you expect that even the selection of ETF will be handled by a robot? Because now you said that it is, it's, a, it's a group of human committee that actually decide the 59, right? Yeah. When do you foresee or will there be a possibility that even the whole selection process is done by robot? Yes, possible. Okay, so possible. Okay, uh, 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 because if you look at the, uh, let's, let's relate, let's relate through a equities market yeah so in a equity market okay we can also that's talking about uh, selecting a particular stock okay? so how do you select that particular stock basically there are two like in the equity there are basically two methods it is comprises of technical analysis and fundamental analysis yeah mm -hmm. fundamental analysis you select that I want to go into a, a, a certain, and by the way, we do not focus for my tool, uh, again, the, of strategy. We do not go into a particular sector. We do not say that I want to focus 20% in technology sector, for example. We do not do that, good or bad, but that's our, our strategy. Because at the end of the day, we are actually managing investment. Risk return is very, very important. Uh, because, you know, uh, you know so, so, so yes, there will be a day. Okay. There will be a day. In fact, it's possible uh, to select 6,000 6, ETFs down to 59 based on another algorithm. Okay, the algorithm will be basically saying that uh, uh, you know you, you must have a, 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 a certain liquidity. You know, actually that's what we did lah. Uh, but you humans select that 59, 59. It must have sufficient liquidity. Okay, it must not. Uh, uh, it must not be very volatile. Okay, and the asset class so, must not have very close correlation because of risk. Uh, so, so is, 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 it, is it fair to say that even now, because it, uh, like the robot advisory is not pure, pure robot because there's still human involvement involved in selecting which fund to put into the, into the pool, into the universe. Well, would that be a fair statement? That's right. Yes. Yes. You're right. Okay. 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 Uh, so, so that is a, uh, that, that is the first filtering, uh, filtering uh, uh, layer. Okay. We filter this uh, 59 ETFs. Okay. Then from the 59 ETFs today, out of this 59 ETF, as I mentioned, as of today, as of uh, 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 last night, uh, 30 ETFs has been activated. Mm -hmm. the, the other 29 ETFs were, was, uh, were not activated yet. They could be activated next day or tomorrow or whatnot because of the algorithm. It, it, it meets certain criteria. Okay, so that pool of the, that selection of the 59 ETFs and from 30, uh, our 59, we select 30, that is the algorithm. Okay, we could have, we could have said that let's build my universe to 100 ETFs. Okay, we could have. Okay, means that the algorithm will then say that, okay, let's work within the parameters of this 100 ETFs and the algorithm will say that I'll pick the algorithm. Uh, we'll, we'll pick based on our our, our, our criteria, the, the the relevant set of ETS to be activated. You know. Okay. Uh, we probably have time for one last uh question mm -hmm. here. Um, Did just say your just question, reminder, Peter? <laughs> yeah. Just for a reminder yeah, for yeah, those uh, <laughs> on ET Online Campus, the um, mentoring session is tonight, ten PM. Yeah. Uh, don't forget that. Uh, also, our Mandarin session starts in about 15 minutes. Uh, now, I think the last question here is, uh, I, I think that there are, there are some questions regarding uh, fees, mm. right? So you mentioned it's 1%. Um, mm. And, you know, for those who buy mutual funds or unit trust, they're quite used to the upfront fee. And I, I guess the question is, how, how do you actually charge, if I put, say, $1,000 today, how do you guys actually charge your 1%? Okay. Uh, our charges range from 0.5 to 1%. Yeah, so the 0.5, if you have a, a AUM size of a million dollars and above, lah, huh? so let's talk about 1%. Okay, so what it does is today you put in a thousand ringgit the, and we charge you on the monthly pro rata basis. We calculate on the daily basis, but we deb, so called debit you at month end. Okay, 
Okay, so if you put a thousand ringgit uh, uh, today, we we'll calculate yeah. every day. Okay, and a month end will calculate will charge you 0.08 percent of the thousand ringgit. Yeah. Okay. 0.1. And next month, we hope we don't. If they decide to redeem the exit, that's all they pay. 0.08 percent, not the whole one percent. 0.1 percent. Yeah. So it's on and a monthly basis, like it's a one percent spread out over twelve that's months. That's right. That's right. That's right. So if you top up one thousand and next month you top up another five hundred, so the extra one percent is on that five hundred ringgit. Okay, one percent of one thousand and one percent of the five hundred, starting in the next month. Yeah, and there's no upfront fees. There's no upfront fees. There's no the, the two three percent upfront fees, and it's all flat. So it's, it's extremely extremely affordable okay and as i say it also does the reinvestment dividend reinvestment okay and this is also free you know so you can just imagine if you if you get a dividend of a thousand ringgit assuming uh, you get you, you obtain a dividend of one thousand ringgit that one thousand ringgit will be reinvested into your funds because you will get your one thousand ringgit will buy another another 30 etfs and yeah. that is no transaction cost too. No transaction cost. And if you have multiple portfolio, one is my tier and you may have two or three more portfolio, you can switch your money around from portfolio A to B, C to D, whatever. No switching costs. Also no switching costs. So it's, it is extremely uh, uh, affordable, convenient and and we just want the, the investor to say that, oh, it's a discretionary mandate, let us manage, and you continue to chill. Yeah. All right, so hopefully uh, we have a few guys who are uh, convinced after this session to give you some money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Bro, Ronnie, yeah, yeah. Wow. <laughs> yeah, it's, oh, it's, don't, don't, don't share your numbers so they can contact you. <laughs> sorry, sorry. They they no, just download it's all online, am I right? It's all, all it's online. You know that the uh, uh okay, you can just go with you. Uh, it's, it's all in App Store and Google Play and under the name of mindtio.mine. Okay. Uh, mindtio.mine. And uh, as I said that go and play with it, and it's a it's a very cheap uh, entry cost, it's only a minimum now a uh, minimum of hundred ringgit. Okay, hundred ringgit, play with it. I strongly encourage you all to download the app, play with it, okay? And uh, uh, and that we also have a regular saving plan where you can give an instruction. We tied up with uh, uh, we tied up all the banks in Malaysia that you can say that every 15th of the month, every 21st of the month, every 30th of the month payday, transfer uh, uh, 15 ringgit for my saving account to my TO. Automatically, we do that for you. Obviously, oh. with your own mandate. So that is really encouraging people that on a regular basis do not time the market uh, and, and, and just put in and and, and stay chill. Yeah. So now everybody can invest uh, with my deal. Yeah, 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 everybody can invest. True, true, true. In fact, you look at it today, okay, uh, uh, if I don't know whether I have time one more minute or whatnot. Uh, okay, if you look at it today, it's, it's very interesting uh, uh, when, I, when I read the article, news things that uh, you know the, the 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 consumption, the expenses of T twenty, the M forty, and the uh, uh, B forty, the expenses of spending has gone down by ranges from forty five to sixty one percent. People is not spending. So when people ask me that, hey, I don't have money to, hey, I can't even live by the day. How am I going to save? But the fact is, in MCO, you are saving. You're not spending, you know, you're, you're, you're not drinking, uh, you're not out in drinking, you're not in a pub, you're not buying anything. So those are the savings. So if you, uh, you want to save, you actually can save. You know, it's, but it's they, 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 but they, they could be on Lazada, they could be on Shopee. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe, uh, that probably I should, I should put my, 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 uh, my, uh, my product on Lazada too. Huh? Yeah, I think it's <laughs> good. <laughs> yeah, so it's really. Uh, I mean, I, I think our main intention and and together, with, uh, that's why I I like your 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 webinar because it's really trying to encourage financial literacy and financial inclusiveness because we are making it so affordable, 
Okay, and then the wealth man, those people they are wealthy, they are they are lucky. They have wealth manager, but they pay through the nose lah. How to manage the funds? Okay, and uh, uh, you know so so and uh, but you need you know your, you you cannot you but you can't even buy those funds at hundred ringgit. With hundred ringgit, you have exposure to thirty ETFs that you know you are investing in Starbucks, Apple, Tesla, uh, you, you, you know Tencent, uh, all this. Citibank, what not? You know, I, I think that's the beauty of the ETFs and the 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 the, the, the beauty of this of uh, fractional shares that we allow. Yeah. All right, Ronnie. Thank you very much for being on the show. Uh, we're just thank probably uh, ten minutes off. Thank you very much. Thanks, thanks for being here. Uh, thank you. Thank you. We hope, uh, uh, hope you guys, as the viewers, uh, learn something from uh, Mr. Ronnie as well. Uh, and of course, uh, you know where to download the app. I think what's my M Y T H E O uh, on the Apple Play Store or uh, Google Play, right? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Uh, otherwise, thank you very much. I'll see you guys tomorrow night. Tomorrow night, we have a very interesting topic. Benny will be back talking about palm oil futures. Okay. Never before we've covered that. If you have, <laughs> not even, if you have no clue what futures is, it doesn't matter. Uh, you know, uh, obviously, it's one of a stable uh, future uh product you know as part of bursa uh you might want to check it out tomorrow at 8 p.m okay stay home stay safe all right uh otherwise for all of us tonight thank you very much for viewing i'll see you guys tomorrow at 8 p.m thanks again ronnie peter thank you thanks thanks thank bye, you, bye. Thank you, thank you. bye.